Oh, hi. Assalamualaikum. This is our first video for SFS 2073 Medical Physics. For today, we will discuss about infinite series chapter. So, we discuss a different type of series, inshallah. So, check it out. Series. So, what is series? We know that uh, something that have uh, repeatedly okay, or have continuity. So, I think everyone have learned in SPM uh, at math, Jenjang Arithmetic. So, it's a part of the series. Uh, and we can say that uh, the numbers of here, okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, with a same ratio. So, this is what we call the series. And then, um, when we try to get a summation of a series, means that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and go on. So this will be the summation of the summation of the uh, series. So here, what we have for the summation of the series, okay, and this for the starting numbers or the starting, sorry, uh, the starting uh, means that for first, okay, uh, which is the ratio for, uh, equal to one, and then this is will be the limit. This is the function that we discuss. Okay. If the limit, uh, sorry, the uh, final dot n of the series will be infinity. That's what we call as a infinite series. So by by doing this, uh, we are discuss more on the infinite series uh, because the for finite series is easier. We just put the value of the i and set the value, then we can get the total or the sum of the series. But what happened when we discuss about the infinity? Can we get the uh, summation of the series? So from here, if when we discuss about series, infinite series, we can have uh, two things, which is um, convergence or, or converge and diverge. When we, what is converge and what is diverge? These two things we need to define all the series that we discuss. Okay. Next. Because of the uh, end of the series will be infinity, okay. Here, yeah, infinities. Okay. So the total of the summation of the infinities. What happened to the total? Okay, that's will be discussed. Uh, example for the we take this series okay not this anymore we taken this series s okay equal to e this is a first term okay first term first term second term third fourth five and six until the end okay first we need to know the ratio means that the ratio gap between these two terms okay so we have here a r over e so the ratio is r means that each of this when times r we can get uh, the third term times r we can get the fourth terms so this will be the ratio when we check from the summation uh, equation here so this will be the ratio Okay, with n now minus 1 is the total. So, because n now is equal to infinity. And a is the first term. So, means that if n equal to 1, so r 1 minus 1 will be 0. So, for r 0 equal to 1. So, this will be the first term. And we can go on continuously. Okay. 
So for this, we call it as a infinite geometric series. Okay. Infinite geometric series. The formula to calculate the summation of the infinite geometric series is A over 1 minus R for this term. What is A? A is a first term. First term. Okay, here, the first term here. Okay. First term. And R is the ratio that we discussed before. But, what the rules that we need? Can you, is it anything, uh, any value that we can discuss uh, using this equation? Okay. So, the rule will be the modulus of R must less than 1. Means that the value of R, the ratio, must less than 1, more than minus 1. So the ratio is between minus 1 to 1. If we can get the value in between, okay, here, so we call that the series is converges. If not, it diverges. So again, what is converges? What is diverges? Converges, in Malay, we call it as a menumpu. Converges, mencapah. So, what is that? Maybe you can check from the graph here. If something going up like that, we call it diverges. But for these things, example from this value, and then going down, that we call converges. But it's just, but it's diverges and converges in the series. When diverges means that you will not get the summation. You will not get the summation because in diverges the value will be total will be nearly infinity. But conform goes converge, even though the value or the ratio increase for the P or any terms, the value is the same, so we can get the convergence. Uh, still confused. Okay, maybe we can check the example here. Example of the series, we have, okay, series for first term 1, plus 0 0.1, plus 0 0.01, plus 0 0.001, plus 0 0.0001. 0 .0 so how about the ratio? So, ratio will be 0 0.1 over 1. So, means that the ratio is 0 0.1. So, each of these times to 0 0.1 become 0 0.01 times 0 0.1 again, 0 0.001. If we can change to the more things that we can, uh, uh, something that we can easy for, for us to view, okay, it's like, 1 over 10, 0 0.1, 1 over 100, 0 0.01, 1 over 10,000. And we change again here, example. Okay, so we have here 10 power of 2, 10 power of 3, and 10 power of 4. So this is something like 1 over 10 power of n. So the ratio is 0 0.1, so 0 0.1 is 10, correct? Okay, so the ratio is 10. 1 over 10, sorry, ratio of 10. So, what would be the summation? If we can calculate manually, like here, okay, where we uh, calculate manually here, 1 plus 0 0.1 become 1.1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and keep continuing. So, the value will be 1.1111 1, 1, 1, 1 something. So it's still, the value is still 1. So we need to change even though the increase, just 
plus the number at the back. So because of this obey the uh, rules that we set before this, which is R must less than 1 more than minus 1. So now the R is 1 over 10. 1 over 10 to the power 1 means that in the range less than 1 for 1 plus R. So here we can say that this can converge. So we can use the equation. What equation? Equation, the summation equation. Okay, so that for A over 1 minus R. Then we can get the total. So maybe we can prove what happened here. Okay, what happened here using this equation. Okay, so this will be the equation of the, sum, the summation. Okay, for the series. This will be the R. Okay, R. And then this function is n minus 1 because for n equal to 1, n minus 1 is 0. So means 1 over 10 of 10 is 0 means that equal to 1. Okay. The first term is 1. So now if you can use this equation, a become 1 and then 1 minus r is 1 over 10. 1 over 10. So... We have here 1 over, here 10 over 10, okay, 10 over 10, so we can get here 9 over 10. And then, we can change here, 10 over 9, 10 bring it up, so we have 10 power of 9. 10 power of 9 is equal to 9, uh, 10 divided by 9, you can get 1.1.11, and you keep continue. So this value is a summation, uh, to, uh, the sum of the equation. So the value is same, okay, 1.11 with this uh, top one, okay. Uh, so this, we can say that this system is, the series is conversion. And then next, we can check the example so that you can get the more understanding of the system. So we continue with the example. For infinite geometric series, we took this uh, first equation, which is 1 over 5n, with the summation of the infinity for n starting from 0. So here, hmm, so we have here infinity, infinity, n starting from 0, and the ratio is set. So we can check here. So it's equal to still summation so for my handwriting here n equal to 0 with 1 over 5 power of n why here because 1 over uh, power of any value is still 1 so now we know that 1 over 5 is r okay so this is r this is r okay and the starting point will be n power of 0 for the infinity, we need to check is it converse or diverse. So uh, to converse mean the value should be in between one and minus one. So is it correct? Yes, one over five, less than one. So this will be converge and converge. You can use the equation a over one minus r, which is a is the first term. And then R is the ratio. So the ratio now is 1 over 5. So we can calculate here. A over 1 minus R, which is A is N power of 0 is equal to 1. 1 minus R, R is 1 over 5. Okay. So here equal to, this one is 5 over 5, equal 1. Eh? 5 minus 1 equal to 4 over 5, 5 ring top, so we can get this, 5 over 4. So, 5 over 4 is around 1.25. So, done. Next, we can check, uh, check for the second equation here. It's look quite similar, but we have two terms now. First, we can split this two term. Okay, still infinity. But the starting point will be n equal to 1. So then 
infinity for n equal to 1 for 3 power of n over 4 power of n plus the infinity n minus 1 for 2 over 7 n. Okay, we try to solve this term first. Okay, the summation n power of 1 infinity 3 over 4 power of n since both have the same okay so you check that yeah uh, here the r will be 3 over 4 and the 3 over 4 is it obey the rules for uh, less minus 1 between 1 to range between minus 1 to 1 so is it correct yeah 3 over 4 is 0 point something so here we get the value is a convergence okay converges so we can use the equation a 1 minus over r so for here is a 1 over r so a is the initial value the initial value is 3 over 4 okay, why because n power 1 n power 1 is 3 over 4 that will be the first term and then 1 minus the ratio itself is 3 over 4 so 3 over 4 so now we have the value here Okay, 3 over 4 is here times here is 4 minus 4, uh, 4 minus 3 we have 1 over 4 here so 4 bring to the top we can have a 4 over 1 so we can cancel up here we have the value here 3 how about the second term here 2 is a constant we can bring here fun infinity n minus 1 equal to 1 we have 1 over 7 power of n and again, m, m, 1 is uh, power of anything, still 1. So, 1 over 7, still in this range. We converse, we can use the a over 1 minus r. So, here we have 2 times to the a. a will be n power of 1, eh? 1 over 7, 1 over 7. And then r is 1 minus 1 over 7, since the ratio is 1 over 7. So, we have a plus 2 times, we have 2 over 7 times, okay, here is 7 minus 7, 7 minus 1 is 6 over 7, 7 we can bring at the top, so we come, 6, 7, so when we cancel it up, and then we cancel up, become 1, 1, this is inside, become 3, so we have here, 1 over 3 so total will be 3 plus 1 over 3 which is 3 times 3 9 we have here 9 over 3 uh, sorry uh, 9 over 3 plus 1 over 3 so it answer will be 10 over 3 so this is the summation for the okay sorry for this term okay summation is term next okay I need to bring this a bit down for the our third example so for our third example we have n equal to 3 still infinity and then we have pi power of n plus 1 over n so maybe you can make it simplify to for us to easily to solve this okay I can bring this stop sorry okay so here equal to summation n power of 3 and then we have here pi power of n times pi okay because pi n plus 1 is equal to pi n times pi over 6 power of n and because pi doesn't have a power so we can say that pi is a constant here can be pi here and then we have summation infinity n power of 3 we have pi power of n over 6 power of n so because both have a power of n why not make it easier so all of this is power of n again pi over n is it 
this will be the ratio this will be the ratio okay this will be the ratio is it the ratio is less than one minus one so we should know that three point uh, pi is three point one four something less than six is it so we have the value is a uh, something like three over six which is one over two means that in this range okay one over this range means that this is this converges because of converse, we can use this equation for summation. So now we can calculate here for pi. Here we have a. A is equal to power of 3. So we have here pi power of 3 over 6 power of 3. Okay, for the first term. And then the 1 minus the ratio is pi over 6 okay this is a bit easier to solve and then we can uh, this we can simplify we have here pi power of 4 over 6 power 3, we can maintain power 6 over 3, this one is 6 over 6, so 6 minus pi, 6 minus pi, over 6, we can bring over top, 6, so 6, you can cancel it, is it, cancel it, so this one become 2, so we have here, pi, power of 4, over 6 minus pi. Okay, so this will be sorry, six power of two here. Okay, fine. So this is will be the total value. You can calculate. You can put the calculator here. So I will not cal uh, calculate for you, but this is enough to get the value. So see you again for next uh, subchapter for the series. Thank you.